My name is Ushin Murray and I'm the director of Demonologist for Hire. You don't know my name, you directed the damn thing. My name's Ronnie Menzies Sterling and I play mainly Joe Caxi. I think I only play Joe Caxi now. What? What I think? Oh, all right, very good. But in the first series I played a ghost. Are you all right? And Paul Connor. <laughs> but I'm mainly Joe Caxi. And Joe. So my name is James Zander and I am playing Kevin. Who is that? This is Kevin. I'm Kevin. Uh, I thought it was hilarious. Um, it had that kind of, when I was reading them, I got an oblivious kind of character in my head because he's very repetitive. No, who is that? I'm Kevin. We met a moment ago. I think that was quite, uh, quite funny. I think it's well written by Brandon Owen. Uh, he's done a great job on that. Isn't that scary up close? I wouldn't get too close. These things can go. <laughs> <laughs> We decided between ourselves quite early on before we shot it that we wanted it to be super, super gory and um, I think it was actually Ushin's idea for me to not only eat Kevin's face but actually ingest it and swallow it. Uh, the edible fake blood, I just added some boiled bacon, some shredded tri chicken and uh, mashed up banana for the gristle. Before Ushin started rolling the camera, I just put a load of that in my mouth and then chewed it. Ready? And it tasted just like sweet and sour chicken. It was delicious. It was really nice. I do suffer from anxiety sometimes and I started to get it a little bit the day before the shoot because I'd never done makeup on that level before but um, it was a lot of fun getting it done. It was Kimberly Timoney and she's just incredible. She knows her stuff and it took about three hours in total to get it all done. Um, there was one big sort of silicone part that went around there over my nose and right up in the brow. Black contact lenses, scars everywhere. She layered it all on and made it look sweaty. And the, the black nails that Kimberly put on me, um, they were quite long and jaggy. They were all sort of ragged to make it look like I've been clawing my way through stuff. Three, three hours and it was it, it just went by in a, a flash because um, the rest of the guys were back at the location filming the other stuff that I wasn't involved in. So no time was wasted at all. What's wrong, guys? Did it get me? Uh, we're in a prosthetics. It was, it was, uh, it was top notch. <laughs> so when I got it on, you know, it felt really moist. Would be the word. Sorry for that word. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it felt moist, and um, it just felt uh, disgusting. I felt really disgusting that day. Like, but I enjoyed the feeling. You know, it kept me method. For me it was a very tough shoot and I think because of makeup requirements, because makeup took a long time, it took three hours to do Ronnie and um, a bit less than that to do James, but it meant we had to shoot the entire episode out of sequence, which is quite frustrating when you are um, only got a day to shoot something. You really have to have your wits about you and we had a massive shot list and right away we knew we had to cut shots out because we just didn't have time to do them. So it was a constant battle against time and try a fight to keep in all the best bits. Um, for instance, I think we had three bottles of blood and I think we only used half of one bottle. I mean, there's so much more we wanted to do, but just couldn't. And um, Ronnie had these fantastic um, nails and um, we wanted to do some really nice shots involving these, but just not, didn't have time. But we got the bare minimum, I think, to make the episode work. and. Um, Thankfully, it worked really well. My favourite moment from the episode, wow. I really love the moment when Demon Joe, played by Ronnie, was getting hit by the baseball bat. I'm making blood bombs. Oh. It was so frustrating because so many of them just didn't work. Uh, okay. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me! And then we, when we finally got it to work, it looked awesome. Stop! That was me at home. I just loved doing that scene. 
Um, I wish we had time to do more. We're hitting Ronnie. But yeah, hit, hitting Ronnie's any excuse to hit Ronnie's a good thing. And I love you too. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, uh, much better, thank you. Uh, bit of a sore head though. I mean, I can't complain. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was great fun. Especially when um, Kimberly was driving me from the house where we were doing the makeup to the location. As I, get to, I get to give really good looks to people out in, the, in their cars at the traffic lights. I'm all demoned up and they're looking at me going, but it's Glasgow, nobody really notices the difference, you know. It was Ibrox, after all. That wasn't a football thing, by the way. Ah! No! Don't, don't put semi-skimmed milk in my coffee! Ah! Yeah, I would love to return to play Kevin. I thought it'd be so fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a fun character, like. Yum. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to do another episode like this. Um, we've got plans, so stay tuned.